Hey everybody, it's Lauren, and I'm just popping on here to show you. This is our model's before. She's just a warmer brunette, hasn't had her highlights done in probably about a year. You can kind of roughly see that line of demarcation where she hasn't had her hair highlighted. So most of this is virgin. It's been toned down with shades, I believe, once. But you can see here I'm working in the front, and I was working in the back. And right now, you can see I'm working on her money piece foils. I think I did two back-to-back baby light highlights right off of her hairline and our formula for this is wella blonde or plus and 15 volume and then in her lower part of her sides i did vertical highlights and i teased up at her root so that it has a nice blend and it stays pretty rooty because we want her to stay brunette we don't want her to be blonde so i left a good amount of hair out and then i'll let you guys watch this clip right up until i get to the top Okay, and right here you guys can see a little bit better visual on what I'm doing to her sides. I took that vertical section right off of those money pieces because I want a lot of dimension and like a ribbony brunette looking hair. So I went in and I teased up that section after I weaved it. I'm feathering my lightener right on up and just bringing my lightener all the way through because I want her to lift to about a level eight. That's kind of what our end goal is. So, and then I just fold this up and I'll let you guys keep watching the rest of this. Okay, and right here you can kind of see better what I'm doing to her money piece. I took those back-to-back -back little baby lights right off of her hairline. And then you can see I kind of go in at a really steep angle after this. And I'm doing those big teasy lights with a wider weave because I want those big brighter pops, but I don't want it to be super blonde. So I'm leaving a lot of hair out. And then right here, I'm connecting that two side pieces to make sure that money piece isn't just a little chunk in the front. I want it to blend. And so you can see me teasing that middle section up a lot so that it doesn't start all the way at a root and it kind of softly blends down into the rest of her highlights.
and right here you guys can see ella a little bit better what she's doing in the back and so she's kind of taking a wider section that kind of takes up pretty much the whole nape area and she did a weave and she's painting on a v pattern so that it has a little bit more depth in the middle and feathering it on up because she did tease up at the root just like how i was in the front and because we want this still to be super rooty, but we want a little bit of pop on her ends. And having these foils right at the nape of her neck will kind of blend into her money piece foils and have that look of being just a little bit brighter just when she pulls her hair forward. She has that bigger, blonder pop in the front. <music> Right here you guys can kind of see exactly how we're both working from this video. We took on our phone really fast. You can kind of see how Ella's working in the back and how I'm working in the front. And you can see Ella on this top section in the back is taking those vertical sections to be more of a ribbony top. And so it doesn't look like it's an ombre where it's like all dark on top and all light on bottom. This is going to kind of give it that ribbony, soft, balayage -y type look without physically painting because we want a little bit more lift than a regular balayage can give so you guys can watch the rest of this Okay, and then right here you can see that we're about to go in with our low lights and it's 6 NCH and 6 NA because her ends were looking a little bit too warm for her liking. So we wanted to cool them down and neutralize them just a tiny bit. So we're going in and weaving in between each of her highlights in the back and in the front. And we're going in and weaving out everything that was left out and popping in a low light just to kind of neutralize that warmer end that she has because we want her to still be brunette. We don't want her to be super, super blonde. We don't want her to feel like she's blonde. We just want a little bit more dimension. And so you can see Ella going in here and weaving through each left out pieces of hair and low lighting them, bringing it all the way through because her ends is what really needs that help. And then right here, you can see me going in and with everything that was left out of her highlight and low light, I'm tipping out. So I'm going in, I think I did three tip outs in the back. And I just wanted a little bit more of a pop. So everything that was left out, we still wanted to kick out that warmth. And so we tipped those out. I weaved everything that was left out. I teased it up. And you can see there's only a little bit of hair that I'm actually putting in these foils. And then here's her foil pulley letter process for about 20, 30 minutes. And she lifted great. And so here's her quick little foil pull because everybody loves watching a good foil pull. And we just went and rinsed her out and washed her with the Joyco Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I believe I also used the Biolage Acidic Milk Rinse to help detangle some of that tease after we washed all this out. <music> Okay, and right here you can see this is what we ended up rooting her with. This is 5N, 4NB. And then this is what we go in and tone her with, which is 8N, 8NA, and 8V. Just because she did lift pretty yellow, we wanted to neutralize that and keep her on the cooler side because she does always fade out really warm, as anyone normally does. But we wanted to keep her on the cooler side for a little bit more longevity. So here you can see me rooting, and I'm having it go in that teardrop shape in the back. And then I'm going in with her toner and brushing that through to make sure everything's evenly saturated. Everything's coated really, really well and blended. So I'm going in with my brush and br blending in her root with that toner. So everything has that nice seamless, seamless blend. And then I believe we just let her process for about 15 minutes with everything on in total. And we just popped her under the dryer for a little bit to warm her up because everyone knows that this can kind of be a little bit colder. 
So we just kind of let it process, do its thing. We watched it, kept an eye on it, but we wanted everything to be nice and toned down and a little bit cooler. And then right here, you can see Ella's kind of going in with the cut. She wants to do a pretty heavy face framing layered haircut. So Ella's starting in on her hair wet and going in with most of those layers in the front. And then we went in and blow dried and styled. We kind of tag teamed it, but Ella eventually kind of gave up and made me start blow drying. So here's that clip. And you can already see how well this color looks. I mean, it started getting dark outside, so it looks a little bit warmer in the salon light than it does in person. We'll insert a couple of clips at the end, but here I am going in and blow drying the rest of her hair. And you can see those face framing layers really gave her a little bit of pop and a little bit more shape that she needed so it didn't just hang in her face. And she does style her hair with a Dyson pretty much all the time. Or she lets it air dry and so you can already see this blend how good this is looking when i just spun her around you can see how good everything is looking it's still nice and super rooty super shiny and everything's looking pretty good at this point <music> And then right here, now that her hair's dry, Ella's kind of refining that haircut a little bit. She wanted to add a little bit more layering in the back to match that super heavy face framing layering that she has in the front. So she's kind of taking a little bit of weight out in the back, pulling everything up and texturizing. You can kind of see her feathering out some of those ends just so it's not so bulky at her ends and she has a little bit more movement. And then I'll let you guys watch the rest of this and you can see us style. So now you can see Ella going in and styling. I believe this is an inch and a quarter curling iron. And she's just kind of going in, leaving her ends a little bit straighter just to give it that beachier type look. And everything is pretty much going away from her face just because this client kind of likes that like side swept swoopy type look. But you can see how well those layers kind of blend in and how everything is on a nice soft angle and how pretty everything's already looking. You saw it straight, and now we're kind of pulling in and looking what it'll see curly, but this was her final result. How everything's super rooty, super blended, and gave her just a little bit more dimension that she was wanting, and you can see the smile on her face. Look how happy she is. She loves it, and I think it turned out great, you guys, and then I'll insert a couple of clips from outside what it looked in outdoor lighting so here it is from the back you can see how everything looks super soft and it's a lot cooler in person you can see in these photos and videos a little bit better but we'll see you guys next time bye